Charles Tobin, Command Sergeant Major, work in the Director's Office as a Senior Enlisted Leader, Headquarters, DLA. I went through some hard times, and then also during the, uh, um, during my deployments, I, I, it's unfortunate what we do, but I had nine of my soldiers that did not uh, make it back home, and they were killed in action. And uh, it took it very, very hard on uh, me personally. Uh, when I came back home, uh, you know, the, the first thought I had was a, uh, why them and why not me? So as, uh, as I returned home and went through a, a, a divorce and went through uh, uh, a hard time trying to uh, get myself together, and um, I turned to alcohol. And, and I thought alcohol was, uh, was going to resolve. And I woke up the next day, the palm was still there. Uh, and, and then uh, one day one of my, um, uh, my kids uh, told me, hey, I do have a paw. It takes a personal someone you know, from your family telling you that, hey, dad, you got a paw that you need to, uh, because someone cares, someone loves you. And, and that hit me real hard. And then I, uh, I realized then that uh, I needed help. We all go through difficulties in life, and every single one of us. And, and we're not, and we, as leaders, are we immune to uh, to any challenges that in life that we, we face each and every day. For the folks out there that uh, say, hey, you know, I got too much pride, uh, I don't want to come out, and uh, I will tell you this, uh, I'm a, a, I'm just using me as an example out here. I was, I uh, thought I was just, uh, you know, hey, I ruck up and move out, and I'm not gonna, I don't have a problem. I, I'm keep, you know, refusing and denial that out there, but I will tell you that. Uh, you get respect from me personally or throughout the, our, our workforce if you come up and say, I do need some help. Uh, and then because people love you. There's people out there that cares about you and that we, we want to make sure you recover from it. And then it goes back to ask for help if you need it. In the past, it seems like there was a, a black cloud behind me that I was holding up. I was, you know, I wasn't a, uh, the person I was. Uh, now I'm I open it up. I can share the story, and now I'm I'm fully a 100% uh, the trust and confidence in myself that I, when I speak, I talk, and when I make sure when I um, I'm walk when I walk the talk that I, I I say out there, and take things a from a positive perspective versus a negative perspective, and you can always ask for help. Help is always there, and someone you will provide you that help. Resilience means to me, the, uh, uh, it's when you bounce back from life, if you're going through a difficult uh, part of life, uh, that you can you, know, you can recover from and come back and say, you know, it's 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 all right when I you ask for help. I thought I was you know I was the the big man on the uh, on the earth, and uh, but I realized that hey, I'm just human, just like everybody else. <laughs>